Hello students. In this video, we will try to find out the resultant of the force that is given to us and we will try to find out the moment of the forces that is the resultant force with respect to a point. Now, in this video, it is also important for us to have a good idea of the moment vector, the force vector, the position vector and the dot product and the cross product. So if we have this basic ideas clear, we can solve this part very easily. In this example, I have a force P1 10 Newton in magnitude acting along AB. The coordinates of A and B are 3, 2, minus 1 and 8, 5, 3. Another force P2 of 5 Newton is acting along BC and the B coordinates are already known. The C coordinates are minus 2, 11 and minus 5. I need to find out the resultant of these two forces in vectorial form. And then after that, I need to find out the moment of this resultant force with respect to some random point B. Now, what I'll do is, I'll first draw the representation of the two forces. P1 is acting along AB. So, I'll say that this is point A with coordinates 3, 2, minus 1. I can say that this is point B. This is my force F1. Now, I have another force P2 starting from B and going towards C. So, I'll take this like this. I'll say that this is point C with coordinates as minus 2, 11, minus 5. This is my force P2. The coordinates of B are 8, 5 and 3. Now, I know the magnitude, I know the position vectors, I mean I know the position through which the force is passing, so I can find the force vector. Once I get the force vector, I'll just make the summation of the two forces to find out the resultant force. So the force vector P1 is the magnitude P dot product unit vector along AB. So this will be I've got the moment a force vector for P1. Similarly, I can find the force vector P2. That will be the magnitude dot product unit vector BC. Magnitude is 5. I have the coordinates for B and C. So I'll do C minus B. That will be. I've got the force vector for P2 as well. Now to get the resultant, it has to be the summation of these two force vectors. So the resultant is force vector P1 and the force vector P2 summation.
I've got the resultant vector force vector as this. Now, what I need to do is, once I've got the resultant, I need to find out the moment of the resultant about the point. So now, my resultant will be passing from point B. I'm saying that it is going like this and the force vector Now what I need to do is, I need to plot a point D. What I'll do is, I'll consider a point D somewhere over here. The coordinates of this point are 1, 1, 1. Now, I need to find out the position vector over here that goes from D to B. So in this case, R, D, B. So I need to find out the position vector R, D, B and that will be the coordinates of B minus the coordinates of D. So 8 minus 1, 5 minus 1 and 3 minus 1. So that will be now to find out the moment of the result, sorry, of the resultant with respect to point D. I have to take the cross product of the position vector and the resultant. So that will be nothing but i, j, k. I've got the coordinates, I mean the position vector r as 7, 4 and 2, whereas the values are So this is how I can find the moment of the resultant with respect to any given point. I hope you have understood this example. Thank you.